Hello everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to answer some of those questions related with the G Cloud um, connection through when you are using the CLI. Um, one of the people, or the question the people need to answer are related when you are using the G Cloud CLI and then you go to login, then you, you will see that uh, the browser is open, then you have to choose uh, your specific account, and then you go through that process every time that you do the authentication. And so this is really painful. So my recommendation in that kind of issue or situation is using service account, because service account is a generated file that you can reuse with for, for multiple um, users. Um, you don't share that file because it's pretty sensitive, but you are thinking about CICD, you store that file in some central, centralized secure place, um, and then you, you can reuse the same file in multiple, for example, pylimes or that kind of things. Um, let's see the example. Let's see first what is the problem that I'm talking about, and then then I will show you what's, what's my recommendation or solution. So let's say that every time that you have to do, uh, I already have GCloud installed here. So if I do GCloud versions, uh, this is my Windows. Uh, so system for Linux. Um, so let's try um, gcloud authentication login and I would say uh, no launch uh, browser. There you go. And then you will see this this one uh, is going to generate a new URL and I have to go to this URL and then open the URL. This is going to generate, uh, it's going to uh, put on a window and then you can choose uh, which account uh, do, uh, do you want to rank access? You allow the you allow the permission, and then you copy the token. So uh, every time that you do this, you generate the token. You are already logged in, so you have to go through the process. Something that is that won't work if you are thinking about uh, CI/CD process. So in the CI/CD process, you want a solution that is automatically that you can be repeatable without human interaction. So let's say what is the solution for that? It's going to be service account. So if we go to our, uh, if you go to your G Cloud console, and then you will, I, I created this project. Um, under that project, in the I am and administration section under the service account service. Uh, we are going to create a new service account and the service account we're going to name it. It's pretty simple. Let's name it my uh, my local service account. And this is generating the service account. And this is the description is going to be this is um, simple access from my local something that you can identify later just created and then we need to specify the account permission here it's gonna be let's say it's gonna be editor this is pretty simple you can keep adding conditions role etc just let's keep it simple and here the most important just leave it in that way just generate a key and the key is gonna generate a file and the file can be JSON or P12 we're gonna use the JSON because the P12 is gonna be the pre-created reason uh, so the, this JSON file contains all the information. You don't share that file. Um, let's say my my service my service account some file here. There you go. That generated the file and let's copy the file. So here and I'm, I'm under my home in the Windows system uh, for Linux uh, home. Uh, let's copy that one for, let's move it from my MTC users um, desktop, desktop, my service account to here. There we go. We have the service. So how do you, you can use it? You can do gcloud of um, activate service account. And let's let's see what is there. What is this? Let's see the help. Well, for a moment. So this one is another way that you can authenticate using a file, uh, and the file is a service account. And uh, there's a couple of optional parameter here, but the one that we are require is the key file. So the key file is the path where your service account file is is stored. So let's use that method here, and then do key file, and the file is going to be my service account. Account the Jackson. Sorry for that. 
and there you go if we do gcloud uh, gcloud auto list we can check that we are already logging and using this one and the previous one was this one the one that we have to grow to the browser and this one is the automated way that we don't have to interact at all so this this approach is pretty useful if you are thinking like i said before if you have a browser like ci cd you store that in a centralized place let's say we are using azure develop pipeline you put that in your secure files and then multiple pipelines can use the same file is the is the file is compromised you can disable and then generate a new service account and then you just need to change that in your pipelines in one single place. That's my recommendations um, to avoid the painful process of keep opening the file, copy the talk. So keep opening the browser, copy the token, and then go back every single time. Uh, if you like it, leave a comment. If you want to learn more about this, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.